Once upon a time, in the trenches of the domain of Guyun, walked a stalwart of a naive past. His gaze idles him into a reminiscence. It was memories not of happiness, desire, nor the triumphant blaze of glory, but it was of disappointment. Once this concrete slab opens, he is flooded with the painful memories of all his past battles within it. He mustered all his strength to destroy the ferocious relics of yore over and over again. Day after day, all at a chance to end his excursion at the battered tree that rooted in his trauma. Before he finally became unhinged, he spoke these words. Why does Archaic Petra suck so goddamn much? Archaic Petra is an artifact set in Genshin Impact that had the potential to make Geo relevant in teams other than Mono Geo. However, that is but a pipe dream. We wish for Archaic Petra's dominion over this land, and all we get is this bitter disappointment of a clunky mess. And today, you'll find out why. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. It's your Slime King, Dojima Man, and welcome to another video. So Archaic Petra's four-piece effect states that once you pick up an elemental shard, you gain 35% damage bonus for that corresponding element. On paper, this might sound very good, and it is, but there are various factors that come into play that make it almost unusable in most teams. Look, I've tried very hard to make Archaic Petra work in many teams. In fact, the very first video in this channel is about Petra Zhongli. However, as time has passed, I can't shake the feeling that past a very niche Hu Tao team in a Shaunal, this artifact set just can't thrive. And that feeling always reminds me of what Petra could have been instead. First off, what makes Archaic Petra so good exactly? Its 35% buff is roughly equivalent to a Kazuo with 900 EM. You give this set to Zhongli, who has a built-in 20% res shred on his shield, and you suddenly have a Geo unit that almost provides what an Animo unit like Kazuo can do, while also providing the safety of a shield. Zhongli is one of the perfect candidates to be the best abuser of Archaic Petra, as his tap skill can produce crystallized shields, and his hold skill is its on-demand version of that. Of course, other Geo units such as Yunjin, Goro, or Albedo can use this set. However, Yunjin would much rather stack defense with Husk to maximize her buff. Goro has a very niche use in his defense buff, and he would be simply useless aside from Petra's buff in most teams. Which leaves us with Albedo that can also perfectly use this set for almost the same reasons as Zhong Lei, as with his off-field procs of Geo alongside his burst. Though it is far from optimal as Albedo benefits as well with the Husk set, the potential of Archaic Petra is there. Yunjin can fit into most teams, Albedo can fit into most teams, Zhongli can fit into most teams. So this irks us all. Why is Archaic Petra so unused by the vast majority of the player base? Well, there are two jarring reasons for this. In order to understand why Petra is bad, we must understand how crystallized shard generation works. And to put it simply, <laughs> it doesn't. It's RNG based. You can think of it as if there is an invisible AoE ring around the enemy. Once you proc crystallize, a shard would be generated from anywhere around the enemy. It could be behind them, it could be next to them, from the west, from the east. Hell, it could spawn right in front of you, making you pick up the shard instantly. And this makes your rotations clunky because at times, you will have to run around to find the right crystal. This is further amplified by the fact that when there are multiple shards of different elements on the ground, you have to weave yourself across during battle like it's a minefield in order to not overwrite the elemental buff you want. Archaic Petra has no cooldown to trigger its effects. If you pick up any crystal while the buff is active, it will simply be overwritten. This all feeds into how clunky it becomes, and this also feeds into the other reason why it's bad. To put it bluntly, it takes too long for everything to come together. You spend so much time running around getting the crystal, and at times it makes most rotations very inconsistent. For example, a team I frequently run with Petra is Petra Zhongli, Ningguang, Raiden, and Bennett. For the most part, the rotation is very simple. I start off with Raiden's E, then Zhongli's burst, then I use Bennett's burst, then do my Ning rotations, then do some normals to proc Raiden's E, then hold E with Zhongli so I can pick up an Electro Shard. Then I finally switch to Raiden to burst with Petra's buff under Bennett's buff. However, all of this only sounds good on paper. In practice, it's either I spend too long picking up the crystal so that Bennett's burst expires 
or I crystallize with Pyro instead, or in the worst case scenario, both of that happens. This isn't even a quote-unquote meta team, it's a team that I just want to use that I thought Petra would work well with. Another example is in Nashauno. In this team, it is easier because it is essentially mono pyro, so producing a pyro shard is no problem. However, it will never eliminate the problem of searching for the shard to pick up. Since it is randomly generated around the enemy, there are times I can maximize Bennett's burst with Xiao, and there are times I don't even have the burst there because the enemy has either pushed me away, or I search too far for the shard. It's these kinds of things that, when it works, you're reminded of what it truly could have been if crystallized mechanics were just fundamentally better. Perhaps if elemental shards were pulled in like in Goro's Burst, General's Glory, the randomness could have been mitigated somewhat. But hoping for a fix for this set at this point is neither here or there. Instead, I will show you the best case scenarios for the archaic Petra set today. And the best case is to be used by the man that lamented the domain of Guyon at the start of this video. Petra Zhongli is still the best use of this artifact set. There's a simple reason for this. Zhongli fits into mono element teams better than any other Geo unit. In this teams, some of the disadvantages of Petra are reduced somewhat like worrying about other elemental shards. However, you still have to go through clunky rotations and potentially extending them. The problem with Petra Zhongli is that this Geo Archon already has a lengthy on-field time for shield support. And you will pair that with getting the crystallized shard and that is potentially around 5 to 7 seconds you are not dealing damage, not to mention extending your rotation. The only team that Petra actually signs in is a Hu Tao team simply because in Hu Tao's downtime, you aren't dealing damage anyway. Is it worth farming the Petra set? I answered this question in my Petra Zhongli video way back, but I'll answer it again. The cold hard truth is that it simply isn't. There are just better things to spend your resin on, I haven't mentioned that Bolide is in that domain too, and no one is using that either. While I crave for the days that Archaic Petra will actually be good, that day is never coming. And that's a contract set in stone.